And we certainly have come to the end of a big week for Ohio. Monday brought manufacturing, construction, and office workers back. And even bigger changes are coming next week with retail stores opening Tuesday and salons back in business a week from today. But not everyone is following the state's guidelines. Well, Uick has a look at what's next. Normally busy shopping centers turn to ghost towns. But come Tuesday, May 12th, retailers are allowed to reopen in Ohio. If they follow the guidelines, employees must give a daily symptom assessment, clean all merchandise before it's stocked, and wear masks. That's something customers are encouraged to do, but it's not mandatory. Everyone should remain six feet apart, and just like we've seen grocery stores do, many stores are installing barriers between the cashier and the customer. Some other measures being taken, Macy's will hold any item that's been tried on for 24 hours before putting it back on the shelves. Kohl's will be closing fitting rooms altogether, shift their hours to 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. so they have more time to clean and are only going to have one entrance open. And beauty stores like Alta will ban the use of all product testers. As Rob Descoli with Great Lakes Mall explains, every retailer is different. You're going to see curbside pickup, which I think is a benefit a lot of us didn't really have at some of these tenants in the past. You're going to see by appointment only. You're going to see altered hours. Um, and you may see late openings, you know, a few weeks down the road from some of our tenants. And retail has been hit hard. Just today, Business Insider reported that J.C. Penney is considering filing for bankruptcy and closing hundreds of stores permanently. It comes on the heels of the luxury store Neiman Marcus and J. Crew that both filed for bankruptcy this past week. Time will tell what businesses will be able to survive. Will Uick, 3 News.